Hello everyone, welcome to 2025. Today I'm going to give you an updated tutorial on how to download and install the Wicked Whims mod for Sims 4. Before we go forward with the tutorial, I want to make sure that you have the most up-to-date version of your game as both the game and the mod have undergone some big updates here in early 2025. Three hours later. Once you've gotten the most up-to-date version of your game, we can move forward with the tutorial. Before we do move forward with the tutorial though, I would like to remind you that the Wicked Whims mod is for adult audiences and following this tutorial will take you to websites where there will be content for mature audiences only. I also want to remind you that installing the Wicked Whims mod and the mods required to support it is just one step of getting this mod to work. Afterwards, you will have to install animations to have full functionality of this mod. I do have a tutorial for that. I'll post it at the end. Before we download the Wicked Whims mod, we need to download something called an XML injector. If you've already been playing with modded Sims games, then you probably already have this, but if you haven't, we need to open our browser and search for XML injector and find this first link that says Scumbumbo. And an XML injector is necessary for a lot of mods and for a lot of the animations that you'll use for Wicked Whims. So we'll go to this download button and I'll pop it in our downloads here if you're using Chrome or down at the bottom if you're using Edge or Explorer. And regardless of whatever browser you're using, you can always come to your taskbar and find the file explorer down here. And you'll want to scroll through and find your downloads. It's usually in quick access. And then you'll see that I have this little folder that has a zipper on it. This is a zipped folder that I need to basically unzip to be able to use the folder. So I'll right click on it and hit extract all. So I can hit extract and it'll place this unzipped folder into my downloads folder. So I'm going to right click and hit copy or you can hit control C on your keyboard to copy it. And then you'll want to find your mods folder. So your mods folder will be under this PC, documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4 mods. Go ahead and hit control V or right click and hit paste to insert this XML injector. Now this next part is not necessary, but I do rename my folders to ensure that I can keep better track of everything that I have. So if you want to do that too, you can right click on the folder and hit rename and name it whatever you want. I name it XML injector. Once you've done that, you can go back to your browser and search for Wicked Whims. It'll be this first link, wickedwhimsmod.com. And it'll give you that same warning I gave you at the beginning of this video. After you hit enter, there won't be anything yet, but keep in mind at this point, we're getting to where there will be adult content. So go ahead and find the download button under download and installation. And there are two different ways that you can download this. I have done both, but I find the itch.io way to be a lot more straightforward. So that's where I'm going to take you. Do be warned that after this point, there is in fact adult content. I am going to minimize my window so that it's not visible here on YouTube, but just be warned. Now that you're on this page, you will go just a tiny bit down and hit this download button, which will actually just take you to the bottom of the page where you can pick which version of the mod you want. I have had no problems with the most recent update and there are new features in it, so I highly recommend getting this. As long as your game and your other mods are up to date, you should have no problem using the most recent mod. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And it'll pop my download up here or down at the bottom if I'm using Edge or Explorer. So we're going to follow pretty much the same steps we did for the XML injector by going to our file explorer here on the taskbar and opening our downloads folder. You'll see here, I now have this Wicked Whims zipped folder. I'll need to unzip that by doing the same thing we did last time, right clicking and hitting extract all. Extract. And you'll see that now I have this 
regular folder unzipped no zipper on it and this is the folder that I will want to move to my mods folder so you can click on it and hit control C on your keyboard or right click and hit copy go down to this PC on your sidebar and find your documents electronic arts the Sims 4 and the mods folder Hit Control V to drop that folder or right click and hit paste. This next step is actually really important. So if you have never used mods before, follow very closely. Let me explain first, don't follow anything yet. So when you download and install mods, your game cannot recognize that there is a mod if it is too many folders deep. So within your mods folder, it's okay to have just this folder here and have the mods inside of it. If you double click, you'll see that the way this mod is packaged, there is an additional folder inside. These files are actually just informational or instructional and you don't need them. This mod folder right here is what you actually need. I'll double click this and show you that these package and script files are actually your mod. They are buried too deep. So I'm gonna back out to my mods folder here. And what we're going to do to fix this, go ahead and follow along now, is double click on the Wicked Whims folder, click on the Wicked Whims mod folder, hit control C or right click copy, come up to this little navigation bar and click back on mods so it'll take you to your mods folder and then right click in the blank space and hit paste. Then you'll need to delete this original Wicked Whims folder that has all the other extra information like the date. Highlight it and then hit the delete button on your keyboard. This is now appropriately installed. The next step is something you'll have to do in game, so go ahead and launch your game. In order to use mods, you'll need to enable some in-game settings. Now the menu looks different after the update, but you can still find your game settings up here in this little dot 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 in the top right hand corner. And this is where you'll find game options. You'll go to other and ensure that these boxes are both green. Enable custom content and mods has to be checked first in order for you to check this box. And after those are both checked, you will have to apply changes and restart your game. Once you've restarted your game, load into whatever household you want so we can double check and make sure that everything installed properly. Once you load in, you should get this pop-up on your notification wall telling you that you are running Wicked Whims, whatever version. And if you have downloaded and installed any animations, it'll tell you which ones you've got. However, this pop-up doesn't always come up. The easiest way to tell if you have successfully installed Wicked Whims is clicking on your sim and you should have this Wicked option. So this mod isn't quite ready to use yet. Some of the features are functional as is, but for some of the more adult content features, you do need to download and install animations. Here are two videos that will help you with finding and downloading the animations. Start with the one on the left, and if you find you need it, go to the one on the right. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, if you were able to get your mod up and running, and if you weren't able to get your mod up and running, please also let me know that. The feedback is really helpful. All right, happy simming!